Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Car Electrics. Today we're tackling something that confuses a lot of DIY mechanics, calculating the right fuse size for your car's electrical components. Get this wrong, and you could end up with a fire hazard or damaged electronics. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it right every time. Understanding Fuse Ratings Before we dive into calculations, let's understand what a fuse rating actually means. Think of a fuse rating as a safety limit. It's measured in amps and tells you how much current can safely flow through the circuit before the fuse blows. It's like having a safety valve that cuts off power when things get too hot. This simple device can save you from expensive repairs or even prevent a fire. The Golden Rule of Fuse Selection Here's something crucial to remember. Your fuse should always be rated higher than the current your component needs, but lower than what your wiring can handle. I always tell my viewers to choose a fuse that's rated 25% higher than the current draw of your component. This gives you a perfect safety margin without risking your wiring. How to Calculate Fuse Size Let me show you a simple formula that works every time. We use the standard electrical power formula, current equals power divided by voltage. In most cars, we're working with 12 volts so this makes our calculations pretty straightforward. Let's work through a real example. Say you're installing some auxiliary fog lights rated at 100 watts. Here's how we calculate the right fuse size. To find the current, we, to find the current, we first divide the power, 100 watts, by the voltage, 12 volts. This gives us a current of 8.5 amps. However, to ensure safety, we add a 25% safety margin. We do this by multiplying the calculated current, 8.33 amps, by 1.25. This results in a safe current of 10.4 amps. This means we should use a standard 10 amp fuse for these fog lights. Simple, right? Let me know your answers in the comment section. Fast blow versus slow blow fuses. Now here's something many people overlook. The type of fuse matters just as much as the size. If your component draws a big surge of current when it first starts up, like a motor, you'll want a slow blow fuse. For components with steady current draw like lights, stick with regular fast blow fuses. This prevents unnecessary fuse blowing while still protecting your circuit. Common mistakes to avoid. Let me share some mistakes I see in my shop all the time. First, never use a bigger fuse just because the smaller one keeps blowing. That's like removing your smoke detector because it keeps going off. If a fuse blows repeatedly, you've got an underlying problem that needs fixing. Second, don't forget to check your wire gauge. Even the right size fuse won't protect undersized wiring. Finally, always buy quality fuses from reputable manufacturers. Those few cents you save on cheap fuses could cost you hundreds in repairs. Practical tips and safety. Remember, these calculations are just the starting point. Always consult your vehicle's manual for manufacturer recommendations. When in doubt, go with a slightly smaller fuse rather than a larger one. And please, keep some spare fuses in your glove box. You'll thank me later. And there you have it, folks. Once you know the formula, calculating the right fuse size isn't rocket science. Remember, power divided by voltage gives you current. Then add 25% for your safety margin. If this video helped you understand fuse calculations better, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Easy Car Electrics content. Drop your questions in the comments below. Keep those circuits safe.